back to Wish Trend TV. I'm your host, Caroline, and welcome back to another episode of What's Trending, a corner where we share with you the latest beauty trends and where we also share with you tips and tricks that you can do in the comfort of your own home. Now, today's theme, we're going to be talking about the similarities and differences between J Beauty and K Beauty. And we're not just going to be talking about skincare, but we're also going to be showing you guys a makeup tutorial to show you guys the different beauty standards in Korea and Japan. So, for today's episode, Episode, we have invited a special guest and she is a Japanese youtuber who lives here in Korea So without further ado, let's introduce Mayu! 안녕하세요. 일본에서 마유입니다. 어, 저는 한국에 온지 3년 넘었고 지금 한국에서 직장을 다니면서 유튜브를 운영하고 있습니다. 잘 부탁드립니다. Yay, welcome. So are you ready to start now? Okay. Let's begin. So first things first. Let's define what K-beauty and J-beauty are. And Korean skincare products constantly change, mainly because the trends are constantly changing. Korean skincare products are known to be really fun and unique, creating new formulas, ingredients, and textures, and it creates an entire new category of beauty. But even though Korean skincare is fun, it doesn't make it any less effective. In fact, Korea has a long and rich history in regards to skincare and beauty, and the average Korean woman spends twice as much time and money on her skincare routine. J-Beauty는 효과적인 스킨케어에 초점을 맞추고 있습니다. 심플한 제품과 루틴을 선호하고요. 최신의 트렌드를 따르는 것보다는 몇 가지의 고품질 재료에 중점을 두면서 순수함과 심플함을 중심으로 합니다. Okay, so you're still unsure about which to go for, J-Beauty or K-Beauty? Whether you use K-Beauty or J-Beauty, they both will be a positive addition to your skincare routine, mainly because they complement each other. Let's break down each of the steps, starting with K-Beauty and then J-Beauty. So number one, Cleansing. When you think of K-beauty, oil cleansing must come to mind, right? We focus a lot on cleansing our skin well. Cleansing oil is most popular mainly because it removes makeup, impurities, and all the dirt from your face. But we also do a double cleanse and that can involve a foam cleanser. Foam cleansers remove impurities but doesn't strip away the moisture of your skin. So Koreans love, 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 love foam cleansers. 일본은 한국처럼 사계절이 다 있지만 특히 일본이 여름이 더 덥고 한국보다 더 습하기 때문에 피지나 각질 관리를 더 중요하게 보는 것 같아요. 그럼 먼저 클렌징, 베이스 메이크업 때 모공을 덮는 메이크업을 많이 하기 때문에 그거를 잘 녹여내고 각질 관리를 잘할수 있도록 오일 클렌징을 많이 쓰는 것 같아요. 그리고 클렌징 폼으로 더블 세안을 하는 게 기본인 것 같아요. 그리고 요즘은 피지 각질 관리가 잘 되는 파우더 워시 타입을 많이 쓰는 것 같아요. Number two, masks. So the soul of every Korean skincare routine are sheet masks. There are a wide variety of Korean sheet masks that you can choose from depending on your skin type and skin concern. And these sheet masks contain a lot of different ingredients that help your skin. Some common ones are aloe vera, vitamin C, and AHA and BHA. Some more unusual ones are pearl, snail extract, and even mugwort. 일본의 마스크팩. 한국만큼은 마스크팩의 종류가 많지는 않은데 일본에서는 대용량 마스크팩을 많이 쓰는 것 같아요. 요즘에는 물티슈처럼 뽑아 쓰는 마스크를 많이 쓰면서 아침에나 밤에 간단하게 할수 있는 마스크팩. 팩으로 관리를 하는 것 같아요. 대부분의 팩은 진정 효과나 보습 효과가 있는 팩을 많이 사용하는 것 같아요. Number three. Toner. So in any K-beauty routine, toner is a must. And in Korea, we call it skin. Toner is used to help better prep your skin so that it can absorb the products that you put on afterwards. If you are a huge fan of K-beauty, then you already know about the seven toner skincare step. That basically means you're taking a lightweight and refreshing toner and applying it on your skin seven times. That means seven layers of toner. But honestly, that trend has kind of passed because, well, we just don't have the time to put on seven layers of toner every single night. But Koreans still use multiple layers, maybe two or three or four if they're feeling lucky. 일본의 토너, 기본적으로 보습을 잘 해야 뽀송한 베이스 메이크업을 해도 안 뜨기 때문에 토너도 쪼쪼한 곳을 많이 선호합니다. 대용량 토너를 미스트 공병에 담아서 어, 스시로 많이 뿌리거나 화장솜에 묻혀서 패팅을 하면서 흡수를 시켜줍니다. Number four. 
serum. Now everyone asks, is serum really necessary? And the answer to that in K-Beauty, yes. Absolutely necessary. Serums and ampoules are basically high concentrations of effective ingredients, and these are meant to address certain skin concerns. Koreans absolutely think that serums and ampoules are a must, mainly because it provides a fuller skincare routine. There are many different types of Korean serums, each with its own viscosity. If you're wondering what kind of serum you should choose, try to choose a serum that will specifically address your skin problem, and just use a viscosity that you like. We do recommend using a serum that is a little bit more viscous than your toner. 일본의 세럼, 일본어로는 에센스 또는 미용액이라고 불립니다. 이 단계는 생략하는 사람도 많지만 에센스를 사용한다면 자신의 결점을 보완해주는 보습이나 당력, 노화 방지 등의 효과가 있는 제품을 많이 사용합니다. 그리고 제형은 조금 콧물처럼 점성이 있는 제품을 많이 사용합니다. Number 5 Cream. So I don't know if you guys know, but 6 out of 10 Koreans have sensitive skin. So that's why many creams, moisturizers, and emulsions tend to focus on skin regeneration and providing a protective barrier. As many of you guys know, the ongoing trend in Korea right now is using ingredients such as centella and guazuline. 일본은 많이 습하기 때문에 두꺼운 크림백보다는 로션 같은 가볍고 촉촉한 제형을 많이 사용하는 것 같아요. Okay, so now it is the time that you guys have all been waiting for and that is the differences and similarities between K-beauty makeup and J-beauty makeup. So Korean makeup culture is all about that dewy makeup look. Koreans really love the shine that come from a healthy looking complexion. That is why Korean women focus more on skincare and makeup is actually just the finishing touch. Let me show you the daily Korean makeup that all Koreans love to use. As K-beauty focuses more on portraying a natural look, that is how the whole trend of using base makeup that can give you the no makeup look started. So today I'm going to be using a BB cream that is ranked number one on a popular Korean beauty app called Hwahe, which is basically research and lets you know if the ingredients in skincare or makeup products are safe. I'm going to spray some mist on my puff to portray the dewy look and dab on the BB cream. The Korean trend favors blush tones on the eye with a thin wing pointing downwards for a puppy liner effect. A wide eye effect is created by blending eyeshadow underneath the eye. Also, we can't forget egyosai. This is literally emphasizing the eye bags under your eyes. Surprisingly, this really does make you look younger. Check these pictures of Korean celebrities where they have photoshopped out the egyosai. And then they like the natural lashes. So I'm going to finish off with a light layer of mascara. With eyebrows for K-Beauty, it is all about the straight eyebrows. We don't prefer arched eyebrows, but more of the straight brows that are a little bit thicker. This also surprisingly makes you look a little bit younger and it helps to portray a more softer image. Both J-Beauty and K-Beauty use blush instead of bronzer to give a pinched cheek effect. K-Beauty is more simple when it comes to pink cheeks. The application required is simply your typical blusher application. We love using more of a light peach or pinky colors. With Korean Beauty, it is about looking as fresh as the daisy and lips usually have some kind of gradients. A pinker color is placed gently in the middle of the lips and then washed over with a non-sticky lip gloss to look like you've had a popsicle. And majority of Korean love lip tints also rather than using lipsticks or lip glosses. This部分도 섀도우는 보통 심오한 제형의 브라운 계열로 그라데이션을 시켜줍니다. 그리고 펄감이 강한 밝은 섀도우로 애교살을 간조할게요. 아이라인은 자연스럽게 점막만 채워주고 꼬리는 길게 빼지 않을게요. 마스카라로 컬이 예쁘고 긴 속눈썹을 만들어줍니다. 
눈썹은 제가 문신을 해서 먼저 컨실러로 살짝 가려줄게요 요즘은 일자 눈썹도 많이 하지만 산이 있고 살짝 올라간 눈썹이 원래부터의 일본 스타일인 것 같아요 블러셔 하는 법이 한국이랑 많이 다른 것 같아요 진하고 넓게 발그레하게 해줍니다 그리고 마지막에 립글로즈로 탱글탱글한 립을 만들어주면 일본 스타일 메이크업 완성! Okay guys, so we really hope that you guys like today's video and Mayu, thank you so much. Is there anything that you want to say? 네, 여러분들에게 제이뷰티를 소개할 수 있어서 너무너무 좋았고요. 정말 즐거운 시간이었습니다. 다시 초대해주시면 좋을 것 같아요. So the link to her channel is going to be down below in the description box below. So make sure you guys visit my you guys. She's really really great and she taught us so much about J Beauty, right? And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, What's Trend TV, and also leave in the comments what you want to see in our next What's Trending video. So without further ado, always remember, guys, you are beautiful inside and out. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later!